This morning, we venture out of the scenic Dal Lake area, leaving the cozy comforts of the Sukoon House boat. Owner Altaf Chapri has helpfully arranged for Nisar Malik, a stellar Srinagar expert, to guide us through a very different side of the city. Our shikara sinuously glides past hundreds of houseboats until we reach the river Jhelum towards the old town of Srinagar, where we'll visit some of the ancient city's most important shrines. We start our city walk with Nisar on Zena Kadal, an ancient bridge constructed by Sultan Zainul Abidin, known as Badshah among the locals, almost 600 years ago. We're in the old part of Srinagar, uh, you know, on the bridge called Zena Kadal Bridge. Uh, it happens to be uh, on the name of the 14th century Sultan, the king, the ruler of this place, Zainul Abidin. And uh, Kashmir has been at a crossroad of different cultures, different uh, religions from Buddhism, Hinduism and Islam. A boat trip in the river Jhelum is also recommended, uh, you know, uh, passing under the bridges, the seven bridges of old city and seeing the facade of uh, the, the older buildings close to the medieval era feel while you're doing the boat trip. Get off, uh, you know, in the old city and explore. It has impressions, Mughal impressions. Uh, it has 1420 Sultan impressions. And uh, you can also visit the marketplace, 150 year old, uh, you know, introduced by the, the Dogra Maharaja in the old city. And while do, be, being on the walk, you can, uh, you know, explore the old city. You'll see a lot of copper shops. Copper had been extensively used as a status symbol in past and currently also being in use. You'll see the silver and copper thread embroidery done on cloth. So different pockets of old city got, uh, you know, developed and known for their different crafts. You could see the different processes of shawl making, you know, uh, happening in the in this part of the city as well. You know, on my right is uh, one of the uh, uh, you know great architectural piece known as Makil House, and just towards the left at the back is the burned brick building, the Badshah's tomb. Must to see here. Also, uh, something to talk about here is Kashmir has been an example of communal harmony on the either side of the river Jhelum. Uh, apart from these uh, houses, you would see ghats and the temples, the Hindu temples and the mosques lined up. You know, and the ghats were a socializing point here in the morning. We're just at the end of the bridge and the starting of the Zanakadal market from this side. You could see copper shops. There are a lot of wholesale shops for weddings, uh, you know, purchase. Uh, different products from here. Also, you would like to see, uh, you, you'll get to see the plating done on the copper with tin, you know, in this market. It's a nice walk and uh, then finally walking to the Royal Cemetery where the Badsha tomb is. Uh, we're just entering, uh, just, just passing through the Wakil house in this alley. This is the material, uh, the tin, which is usually uh, used to plate the copper ve vessels. As I said, copper is extensively used here. The tin. So he just put in the fresh uh, new plate of copper. He's just heating it. Then would add a little bit of metal over it. And now it's after the plating fit to be used for eating, if, you know, any, any servings of food or gravy. We are at Shah Hamdan Mosque and Shah Hamdan is a Muslim saint who came down here in 14th century and uh, preached the message of uh, love, peace and the word of God here in this part of uh, uh, the country. 
and he is also uh, supposed to have contributed to uh, upliftment in terms of uh, you know bringing in arts like carpet or paper mache to Kashmir. Shah Hamdan is supposed to have written 100 books on jurisprudence. On his name, the ruler Sultan Skander has built this mosque 700 years before. It's a two-tiered structure and the woodwork and, and the paper mache work is done on the walls. Also lifting Kashmir's economy and uh, this is a mosque where five-time prayers are done and these particular arts are quite famous across uh, the world. This is the uh, access uh, to the chamber, in fact uh, a place reserved for women. Uh, we are at Hazrat Bal in Srinagar, just in front of the Kashmir University. And uh, this place, uh, we're in the market close to Hazrat Bal. Hazrat Bal is a mosque uh, which is, uh, apart from being a mosque, it's also famous for, for the relic of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu which is shown at different times of the year. But uh, today being Friday, it's a bit more crowded. And uh, if we see the markets here are developed around the shrines and the mosques, which lets the people to come you know, on Fridays and other occasions. If we see around, uh, we'll have a walk. We'll see a lot of, you know, the local daily needs. Uh, we would see steamed lentils, which is, a, which is a snack, you know, taken by the locals. We'll see, uh, uh, you know, the fisherwomen selling their merchandise, the daily, you know, daily fish here. We'll see the, uh, the local vegetables and the, uh, we'll, we'll see the local snacks as well. Uh, we'll see, uh, you know, the shop selling meat the local bread shops so uh, that way is, it's a complete uh, vibrant market near to the Hazbul and apart from ha seeing the locals you know and the culture around we'll be stopping at the Hazbul uh, uh, you know mosque uh, we've stopped at a, a local uh, you know local uh, steamed lentils mini shops or kiosks this is quite traditional here you will see uh, women from the rural areas or from the city you know they sell these steamed lentils you know they're simply steamed overnight and morning again boiled and and and, and steamed and then they sprinkle uh, some salt and uh, chili powder over it and this is a famous snack and it's quite fulfilling for a local to have it and it's 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 uh, it's healthy you know no oil no additions see this is a kidney bean barley barley you this is uh, no, uh, I'll just show you. This is again that smaller like the Rajma, bean, but Rajma, but the smaller one. Yeah. But come, 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 come. Okay. It's hot, fresh. Some pulses and kidney, uh, beans, lentils, you know, famous. Uh, we, we just saw the steamed uh, variety of some. We, we are just at the shore of the lake, the Dal Lake, and most of the produce here is from the lake. The bitter gourd, the rich gourd, the brinjals. He's an inhabitant of Dal Lake and he sells his, uh, you know, vegetables here every morning. So he's saying, oh, 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 prophet, oh, messenger of God, you know, you're, you're high in stature. You were sent with light. And that's what he was. You were sent with light to guide us. You know, so this is what he's saying in the local language. It's called Nath or Durud or Nath. Okay. Yeah, let me introduce, uh, you know, uh, the snacks, different snacks of Kashmir. Uh, though this is the Simulina pudding and the paratha. You know, though this was introduced from outside here, there are families who, uh, like Halwais from UP, who have been, uh, you know, working here from 30, 40 years, introduced this. And this is quite happening when there's any kind of festival or occasion, you know, at these shrines or mosques happening. So people would love to take this paratha, the bigger one. 
yeah, prata and the you know semolina pudding. So this is the lotus stem. They uh, make a, a particular flour or basin, yeah, and uh, would would fry in that. So now there are both families from outside and families from here who are you know associated with this particular trade, and people love to take some of the snacks when they visit here and back home. This is green tea, which we call as nun chai. Uh, we boil this particular, as I said, this uh, particular green tea in, in water and keep the concoction ready. And uh, whenever needed, we would just add milk and salt it and have it with the local bread. And it comes from Darjeeling uh, and uh, other areas. We, uh, it's, we add it, uh, we add a little soda to it and that just gives a... Yeah. So this is a bakery, local local bread maker in action. So the oven is inside. This is their final. You know, these are crisper and can last for long. It's a snack we take with the salt tea. So this is uh, like a kulcha. We call it a kulcha locally. And uh, this is called bagir khani. Bagir khani. Yeah, and uh, this is also taken with salt tea or even, even the other normal tea you can take this with. And uh, this is a lo as per local custom. This is called rote. You know, it's like a local cake, you know, which they make it in the oven. So in the olden days, any kind of uh, you know happy news, somebody was born, somebody passed an exam, or somebody is getting married. So people would distribute this, you know, uh, in families and in, in relatives. Uh, this is the more early morning bread. This is has turned a bit hard right now, but it's consumed in the morning when you take it fresh. This is called soot. You have this with the salty soot and uh, this is the evening uh, like a bagel uh, like we call it sochvur sochvur and with sesame topping seeds on the top so around four or five uh, people here in houses would make that pink tea again nunchai and would take these uh, you know sochvur with along this is again uh, called uh, kulcha kulcha this is again this these things would last a bit longer compared to the soot and sochvur which is just a, a day or two thing here, yeah, fresh. Uh, this is another, uh, you know, a bit little crispier version. We call it uh, crip, crip, crip locally. You can dip it in salty, and then once it's soaked, it's just, you know, swells a bit, and then you can uh, have it. It turns quite tasty. This is another morning version. We call it lavasa. This is like a pita bread, lavasa, and uh, we just discussed about the steamed steamed lentils which are wrapped like the chickpeas in this and taken as it's quite that's quite fulfilling you can find that at different mosques different markets people would prefer it it's quite healthy and not so costly just for 10 rupees you'll get the whole thing with the chickpeas we can see how they're uh, they're right now making just soot one hour yeah so they're right now making soot for 50 rupees 5 rupees a piece this is the fresh morning uh, bread called soot this is right now fresh just out of the oven it's just crispier if you want to taste a bit from four, four o'clock in the morning you know they get up and knead their dough overnight and keep it overnight and morning they prepare this is the morning bread one in action so uh, sometimes to last longer they'll add a little bit of uh, you know ghee ghee with it or butter with it just it lasts a bit longer you know, for a day or two. Our city walk is the first step in the exploration of this fascinating place. Nisar tells us there are seven magnificent bridges to look at, beautiful architecture of old houses to appreciate, a host of fascinating people to meet, and a lot more in store.